Mise-en-scene literally means staging or putting on an action or scene. It refers to the overall look and feel of a movie, the sum of everything the audience sees, hears, and experiences while viewing it. The two main visual components of mise-en-scene include design and composition. Design is the process by which the look of the settings, props, lighting, and actors is determined. Composition is the organization, distribution, balance, and general relationship of actors and objects within the space of each shot. In film, directors have reasons for each thing in a scene or shot. Careful combinations of elements of design and composition contribute to the overall meaning of the shot or scene. The film Paris, Texas provides fantastic examples of mise-en-scene. Directed by Wim Wenders with Robbie Muller as director of photography, this 1984 film won the highest prize at the Cannes Film Festival. Paris, Texas is well known for its unique visual identity. The film uses color and light to convey the meanings of certain scenes and shots. At the beginning of the film, the color palette consists of harsh browns and blues. The pop of Travis's red hat contrasts against these colors, further establishing his character as an outsider and a loner in the desert. The red palette remains present in the early stages of the film. Even though Travis has returned to civilization in the city, he is mentally and emotionally still in the desert. Whenever there are scenes of cool blues and greens, Travis is showing genuine care and concern for his son and family. The reds and browns of the desert reappear in the scene where Travis visits Jane at the peep show. Once again, these colors represent how isolated both Jane and Travis are in their worlds. During the final scene, Travis reunites his son with his ex-wife. The scene is completely green and blue because he makes a sacrifice and does what is best for those he loves. Scenes in Paris, Texas include both open frame and closed frame shots. The central difference between the two is the degree to which the composition of a shot invites the viewer to consider off-screen space significant. Open framing invites the world outside the frame and anticipates another image. One example of open framing is the scene in the car where Travis and his brother Walt are driving from Texas to California. This scene reveals distance between the brothers because Walt is sitting in the front seat and Travis is sitting in the back seat. The open shot allows the negative space to be subconsciously assumed by the other brother. On the other hand, closed framing either puts everything you need to know in the frame or acknowledges off-screen spaces in ways that seem confining. One example of closed framing is the opening scene, where Travis is wandering through the desert. In this closed frame scene, the off-screen space is not very significant. Everything we need to know is already in the shot. Another component of mise-en-scene is the rule of thirds. In the composition of the shot, the frame is divided into three sections. Left, center, right, top, middle, bottom, and background, middle ground, foreground. In this film, many times characters are shot either off to the side or directly in the center. Centered shots communicate stability and balance, while off-centered shots may convey that a character is out of place or conflicted. Much of the mise-en-scene in Paris, Texas is due to the work of Dutch cinematographer Robbie Muller. Muller thought of himself more as a painter than a photographer. Director Jim Jarmusch has said of Muller, he taught me later a lot about color as well, and how it relates to your emotions, or how the sky at magic hour changes every 10 seconds and becomes a different shade. Muller was also the director of photography for the film Down by Law. Though this film is in black and white, there are many elements of mise-en-scene that are similar to those in Paris, Texas, including the dramatic use of lighting, manipulation of the rule of thirds, and closed frame shots. Paris, Texas has powerful visual imagery that brings the story a new layer of emotional depth. Without the presence of such intentional, carefully executed mise-en-scene, the film would not be the enthralling, moving work it is today.